All right, so today I'm gonna to talk about my favorite experiences during 12 plus months of international travel. Um, so everybody always wants to know, well, what's your favorite city? What's your favorite country? All of that, and you know, it's really hard to answer because it really depends on what it is that you're after. So I think the most livable country for me, like in terms of today, I could just move in, start a community, buy a house, settle in and put down roots, is probably Australia. Um, obviously it's very similar to the US but a little bit different um, and the only reason really why I probably won't stay is that they have a close to 50% income tax rate um, that makes it a little insane. But it's a beautiful country with beautiful people, very relaxed and easy going. It's also a little isolated. Um, but I also love, you know, I loved Hong Kong, I love Barcelona, these are amazing, amazing places. But every place has its own personality and its own uh, experiences, its own vibe, its own energy. And so I'm just going to talk really quick about my favorite experiences from the last 12 months. So number one top experience was going through um, Lumpini Park in Bangkok and looking at the monitor lizards. So this was back in May, I think it was my fifth country with remote ear, fourth country with remote ear. Um, we landed in Bangkok and I instantly loved Bangkok. A lot of people don't and I'm not sure why, it's just my favorite, one of my favorite cities on the planet. Anyway, about a weekend I went for a run at uh, this park, it's Lumpini Park, and I was wandering around looking at the cats. They're also famous for their cats, there's a lot of stray cats in the park. Um, they even have their own Instagram. Uh, but I'm wandering around this park and I see something in the water. There's a lake, river thing, and there's something large swimming through the water and I'm like, what the hell is that? And I'm, I'm getting closer to it and I'm like, holy crap, it's a giant monitor lizard. And when I mean giant, I mean these things are like the size of park benches. They are huge, huge lizards. And so I'm wandering around, you know, just, oh, my mouth wide open, totally agape, in awe. And this little tiny woman came up to me. She it was, I'm guessing, probably in her 60s. She was teeny tiny and she spoke very little English and I obviously, I mean, I can barely say hello and thank you in Thai. Um, but she grabbed me by the hand and she said, Madame, Madame, come. And she showed me around for 30 minutes. She just walked, her, walked me around and she was pointing out the monitor lizards. They were in the trees and they were in the ground and she was telling me, you know, they, they sleep in the trees, sleep in trees. And it was just the neatest experience because not only did I see these monitor lizards, which, whoa, so cool, but then this lady who just didn't know me and, you know, she took the time to show me that. It was just, ah, I fell in love with Bangkok that very minute. It was one of the most amazing experiences I had in the last 12 months. It was just cool. So that was number one. Number two. Another really cool nature experience, since we're talking about it, happened right here in Melbourne just last week. So I got here a couple of weeks ago and my first day here I had seen a bunch of bats um, in the sunset time coming around where I'm staying. I have a little Airbnb up in Fairfield and um, I was seeing these bats come out and that was pretty cool. There's some big bats too, they're very, very large. Um, but I didn't think too much of it. I'd seen bats in Australia before I knew they were here. It was not that big of a deal. And then last week I went again for a walk slash jog and was walking through, I think it's South Yarra Park. Can't remember for sure. And all of a sudden I looked up and the trees were just full of bats. I mean, it was amazing. And these are these giant fruit bats and they're, they're called flying foxes here, but they're really cool and they're really noisy and there's just thousands and thousands of them and so to just stumble on a bat colony like while you're out for a walk how amazing is that it was so cool oh what a country really great country third amazing experience of the year I would say was taking a trip to um, Koh Rong in Cambodia. Koh Rong is an island it's consistently listed as one of the best beaches in the world. It's 
absolutely beautiful and absolutely isolating. This was one of my both both my best and worst experiences on this entire year. Now, how can it be the worst experience if it's the most beautiful beach ever? Well, real simple. Um, here's a pro tip for you. Just because a website says that they have air conditioning at the hotel does not always mean that the room is air conditioned. So be very careful where you book. Now, Koh Rung is right off um, the mainland of Cambodia. You take a ferry, it's about an hour off of the mainland. And Cambodia is probably the hottest place I have ever lived. Um, Bali's real close, but Cambodia, man, it's, it's like, sweltering for those of you in Fahrenheit it's like it was averaging around 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit with 90 to 95 percent humidity and it's just unbearable so I take this ferry out I'm out in Koh Rong it is absolutely beautiful there's probably a hundred people on the island it's stunning the sunsets are amazing you can you can walk out you know a quarter of a mile into the sea and still just be standing and it's perfect perfectly clear and calm, but it's so hot that when you go back to your room at night, there is absolutely no way to cool down. So it was pretty tough. Um, also got pretty sunburnt on that trip. So there is that. But Koh Rong, Cambodia, definitely worth a visit and worth the effort that it takes to get there. From Phnom Penh, it was, um, it's typically a, I believe a four hour bus ride. Um, ours took six because of the traffic issues um, and then you take another ferry which is another hour or so so it's not super easy to get to absolutely worth it totally stunning and that's it for today those are my top three travel experiences from one year of travel obviously there are many many more and I will talk about more adventures in future videos but I just wanted to give you some highlights of what I've experienced in the last year so that when you are planning your future travels you can consider some of these areas I hope you have a wonderful day